So I was just looking through some of my old photos and seeing what I could post for a throwback Thursday post and I came across this image of me with Andy Joshua. Instead of just posting it and typing about what actually occurred in order to get that picture with him, I thought I would try to tell the story behind it instead. So I've just finished up performing at the Floyd Mayweather Tour in March of 2017 and I remember the event promoter texting me and saying, are you free for the AJ Tour, which is happening in the following month? So I uh, made it to London at the O2 Arena and he arrived just before the fans started to get there and I got backstage and started performing to him and his friends that we brought down who's on a if you want to call it. That's where you saw this video take place. <laughs> 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 And the reaction he gave was better than what I thought it would be. I thought it was kind of going to be like, mm, but it was so good that I remember it appearing on like Sport Bible and places like that. So then as soon as I finished performing to him, he was like, oh, make sure you give your card to my cousin before you go. And fast forward a couple of days later, I received a phone call. And that phone call was basically from someone from Joshua's team asking if I was available to perform at his niece's birthday party. I arrived at the place that he booked and I did like an hour's show for his niece and her friends and his mum came over to me after I finished up and was like, do you want to stay for dinner? And at that point there I was like, no, 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 I can't, I can't stay for dinner, it's not fair, it's like a, a family pie, I'm, I'm not family, it's for you guys. And the fact that I kind of said no made her probably even more annoyed. She was like, no, you are staying, that's just, there's, there's no... What's it classed as now? There's no debate, you are staying for dinner, end of. I was like, okay, sound. Got some chicken? Yeah. I got, I got on to doing some more tricks throughout the night. <laughs> and it was just such a, such a class evening. I met some amazing people there, uh, like Jacob and Samantha, some lovely, lovely down to earth folk. And that's how that picture came about. I remember just, just before I was about to leave the house, uh, I asked him if I could get a picture with him and boom, there we go. That's how that came about. Would have helped if I dressed a little bit better and I wasn't looking like I was going to be on a 50 cent music video. Um, but that was fashion back then, I guess. But yeah, amazing experience. One that I will definitely be telling the kids when I'm older.